everybody, it's Wanita McDowell with the Real Estate Technology Institute. And today I want to talk to you about virtual interior design apps and websites. You know, virtual and augmented reality has been around for a minute and is continuing to play a big part in a potential home buyer's ability to buy and sell a house, a seller's ability to stage a house. Nothing really new there. Now there are a plethora of companies that are offering services to realtors so they can really assist you with selling a house. One of the things that I found that as I have done research for this webinar is that a lot of these companies are leaning one way or another in terms of this technology and the amount of services that it offers. So we've got to kind of, you got to really pick your way through because now you're kind of overwhelmed with options where before there were only a few companies out there in the game that were really doing it. You even have real estate companies that are partnering with some of these companies. And I'm going to feature one of those in today's webinar. Now you may be saying, is this really a big deal? Uh, yeah, it really is. Because these type of applications are now allowing consumers to walk into a house and literally remove furniture that's there and stage it the way that they want to. One of them is wouldn't cost them anything. I'm going to feature that again on today's session. In addition, you can now take pictures of an empty room and not just stage it, but as a consumer, you can stage it to your style. You may be more traditional. You may be more elegant. So even if you hire a stager, sometimes the staging is just not the style that would meet the potential home buyers. So they can do it on their own now quite easily. So that's part of the issue and why it's such a big deal. You want to be in this game to make sure that you are sharing with your clients these type of apps that can help them as they go through and try to find a house that is the best one for them. Now, you were probably asking, well, Juanita, how did you decide which six tools, six ones that are out there to feature in today's session? Well, I had a few criteria that I was looking for. Number one, user-friendly. In my opinion, no agent wants to come into the house and start doing a lesson and tutorial on how to use a virtual design app. I really wanted to be simplistic. Number two, most of them are not free. I actually don't think that it's, that they need to be, but it would be nice if they could allow you to test drive it. But for the most part, I thought there was a reasonable price tag or should be a reasonable price tag associated with some of these applications, especially the ones that allow you to take the picture and then send it to them. So you're taking the picture and you're actually staging it with their catalog of furniture, the paintings and all that good stuff. You're actually now handing it off to them so that they can now finish the work in terms of giving you a 3D rendering that looks like it's the actual thing. I mean, and that I have to tell you is where it gets really cool. Imagine seeing a room empty and then your clients being able to just go online put the kind of furniture and everything that they want into the house and render. And then they get handed back a wonderful picture of a house that is, well, just like they were, they had walked through it and it's in their style. And in fact, a lot of these apps allow you to go ahead and buy the items right there on the spot. So think through that. That's a pretty awesome deal. And if you could do that for a reasonable price per photo, I'm all for it. So that's why I didn't want you to pay like $75 per photo. You know, if you can get me in the 30, 35 range, I'm pretty good with that. Especially the most important rooms are the ones you would probably want to stage, not every single room in the house. Now, another option and the reason that I wanted to choose these specific apps is that they've been around a while. I don't want an application that's here today, gone tomorrow. Most of these pretty much have some staying power and some have even been featured and nominated for Inman Innovator Awards. So they definitely got my nod and they made it into the top six. There were some other ones also that I really felt were their catalog was rich in terms of the type of furniture and the quantity of options that would be available to your client to put into their designated rooms. That became an important item for me. And did I mention user-friendly? Very important. It's so important. I'm mentioning it again. And lastly, I really wanted there to be a mobile option. That was kind of nice. Not just that I could do it on my laptop. I mean, because who just relies on their laptop? 
I really wanted them to have a mobile version. And not all of them did. Even one that won the, the Inman Innovator Award is only a website uh, application, which is totally fine. But if they did provide a mobile option, they definitely kind of moved their way into my top six. So let's jump right in with number one, Akia Place. And I really like this app. You can walk your client into a house and take out your phone. You're going to open up the app and look at various categories for what you want to add to a house and you're good to go. So let's just say I want to add, say, a chair to a room. Then all I need to do is select chair. So what I've done is I've gone upstairs and moved some furniture out of my house. And I'm going to show you real quickly how easy it is to use this app and also talk a little bit about the disadvantage. The ease of it is open up your phone and find that chair that you want. So you can see from this screenshot, there are going to be several IKEA options uh, for all these different things. And that's probably the only negative I have about this app because you're limited to IKEA products and they're somewhat um, just a, there's just a lack of certain uh, types of styles when it comes to IKEA. But it still gives you an idea what a chair looks like in a corner, what a sofa or table would look like in the room. So let's go ahead and pick something here. I'm going to go ahead and choose a chair. And I'm not a decorator. I'm just picking something so you see how this works. I'm in a room. I have my phone out. I'm going to open up, say, any kind of chair that I want to add to my room. It could be a dining room chair. It could be another type of chair. This is as good as any for this demo. And when I actually select it, I'm going to have the opportunity to sort of scan the room a little bit because that's going to be my first step. Make sure the room is well lit. And I'm scanning this empty piece of floor. And then I look for the products and I go for it, which is what I'm doing here. So scanning takes place first. And then you find the product you want, which was the chair for me. And I'm going to put it in this corner of the room. So all you're doing really is using your fingers. In fact, all these apps use your fingers to move and slide around. I'm going to hit this blue check mark and that's going to let that chair rest on the floor. It's just that easy. A lot of these are like no brainers. If I decide I want another chair, then you know what? I can delete the one I chose and say, oh, let's use this one. All right, on to the next one. All right, there's Box Brownie. And this is uh, something you'll have to go to your application uh, online for. You will find a lot of great options here. And you really need to take your time and look at what this site does. Um, one thing I want to point out, they charge you for a lot of their services. It's not one thing that you're ordering. You're actually deciding, do I want virtual staging? That's one price. Do I want image enhancement, that's another price. So you can, it's sort of a la carte, you can add up, you know, pretty quickly. Uh, you want item removed, that's another cost. For this example, I just want to look at, uh, there's a copywriting, you know, I'm not sure if you'll need that. If you do, then of course there, that's available to you. But I want to look at the 360 virtual staging. That's really what we want, because that's really what we're talking about. We're talking about this virtual reality and 3D. That is what you're really looking for because you want the experience to be very real for the user. You want them to be able to walk through a room and get the feel they're in it. Like there's decorations and there's furniture in the room, but you know there's not. <laughs> that's what's so weird, but also very cool at the same time. And Box Brownie has a great catalog of options for you from decorations and walls and lamps and furniture and you really get the sensation that you are right there in the room you could touch the curtains and of course there's a cost associated with this but you get to see exactly or the buyer gets to see exactly what they're signing up for and in the style that they want so this is something that you can actually work with your client on or refer them to refer this service to them. And whether it's a bedroom, there's going to be a catalog of bedroom furniture, outdoor furniture, kitchen, and you get to see the before and the after. A lot of brands have trusted this and they were also an Inman award. So check them out. 
All right, on to number three, Curate. All right, Sotheby's International has partnered with Rumi to bring you this app, Curate. And this is a this is one that I really liked. I liked it because it was super easy. I liked it because it's a sort of a one-click wonder in terms of saying, this is what I want. I want modern. I want traditional. And you can literally change the room. In fact, you can even say, I'm just going to overlay a different type of room style. I want modern luxury instead of what I have now. So you're actually going to scan your room space. You're going to scan the floor, get a complete scan and pick the style that you want, modern living or traditional. And basically while you're in the presence of your buyer, you can take out this app. Now it's not expensive, but it's free and it's quick and it's super easy. And you can see me off in the corner and I'm actually just scanning the room. And I'm about to change it to this modern luxury instead of what I have now. And this is great because before I spend money on furniture, I can see what it looks like in my room. Now, I'm actually going to use this app outside of this webinar. And so now after I do this, I'm going to confirm I have scanned my space. Now let's see what modern luxury offers. And voila, I have a rug, I have a sofa, I have a brand new chair, table, and I have some whatnots. And I can sort of expand this around the room and really get a feel for what it would look like. Now, here's the really cool thing. I can actually swap layouts. So if I don't want modern luxury, I want maybe something more elegant, then I can do that as well. I literally can. It says, would you like to swap? Yes, I do. And then it will replace it with another, say, easy elegance is what they're calling this. And any item that I have that I like, I can click on it and I'm ready to shop online. And I thought that was kind of nice, okay? I can even change the room from a den to a dining room, <laughs> which is what I'm doing now. I actually had some fun with that one. Okay, number four is Home Styler Interior Design. Now this is one that's completely free. You can work it on your iPhone, or I'm about to show you the web version. And it's really super easy to, to use the web version and I want to go through it because a lot of these applications sort of follow a similar type of uh, way of, of decorating your room. And this is kind of going to give you a feel for how it would work. I'm going to actually show you virtual staging, but I'm not going to do a demo later on. This will kind of give you a sense for how these applications work. You need to sign up. It's free. And in my case, since I've already signed up, I'm actually going to sign in. And I'm going to do a quick design and I'm going to make it quick because you'll see how easy it is. I'm going to go ahead and start the planner and you can see I can do other things. I can get inspired. I can visualize in 3D. Uh, I can actually, then what's cool too is there's no installation required. There's no software I have to download to my laptop. But when I sign in, I'm ready to launch my floor planner and I want to show you how this will work. I can actually upload a floor plan. I don't have one, but I could. I could actually use their template floor plan if I'm just playing around and I want to learn the application. And that's certainly an option. So let's, let's start with creating a new design. Now I want you to see, I'm going to zoom in here. You can upload your floor plan and I'm going to give you an app to create a floor plan from a house you're showing a buyer shortly. But for this example, let's make it simple. Let's just draw a room so you can get a feel for adding things to a room uh, in real time. All right, so let's just draw a triangle there. This is a, a room with certain dimensions. My whole point here is I want to show you how we're going to add paint and flooring. Okay, so you would come over here to style. And you can see how you can select, say, a different floor, wallpaper, just cool things, color, paint color. And from that, you've got a swatch. And let's say I want something green. I'll click here. And now I have a choice of different green coloring. And I'm going to change my walls green. And I'm just using my, my mouse. Now that little thing in the corner that I just circled, that lets me go back to 2D. And I like that because I might want more control and sometimes it's easier to work in 2D. As you can see, I'm looking at flooring. I kind of like what I have, but this just shows you if I wanted to change it, I could. 
Now there's something here in the catalog that I might want. And let's say if I wanted, I could search the catalog here, or I could just say by category, take a look at what options I have. So as you can see, depending on which room I want to decorate, there's a whole catalog of items I can add to the room, like a living room. This is different items. Now with this particular app online, limited options, I'll tell you that now for furniture. But this still will give you an idea of how you would add furniture. And you can see in the living room, there are different categories you can choose. So you can see all the seating, you know, all in one view. Or you can select another category. So as an example, seating. Now you can see everything that's in their catalog for living room. Okay. I think I'm going to go back. I think I want to start with like a flat screen TV. Let's put that on the wall. So let's go to electronics, give that a click. And let's see if we can find us a flat screen TV. Not one for a table. I just wanna make this super easy for you guys so you can get a feel. There's one. And I could put that on the wall and I can turn it different ways. And I'm going to just kind of lay it flat. When I render it, everything's gonna be look really good. All right, now let's see what I wanna do. I have a flat screen TV. As you can see, I have a 3D view, so I can see how that TV is going to look. Now let's go to the building. This room is very boring. I think it needs like some columns, so I'm going to choose columns. And let's see which one we want to use. Hmm. Oh, there, there's one. All right, we'll put that one there. And I think all four corners need that, so we'll Control C and Control V. Copy and paste commands. And there you have it. I have, have, I have added some columns. Now I can switch out of the 3D, go to 2D. Sometimes it's just easier to manage that way. I can still Control C, copy, Control V, paste, and move that to the missing corner. So now I have columns in all four corners. And I can also add seating. So let's go back to living room. Let's find, there, that sofa right there will work. And now in 2D mode, mode, I'm going to add that sofa. And I can always turn it around. Just using my mouse and the arrows will allow me to turn around. I'm just gonna even some things up here. So I'm gonna put that center, and now I wanna get my TV a little straighter. You can see I'm, it's moving in my 3D model. Let's take a look at what it looks like in 3D. Here are the columns, a sofa. I think I need some windows. Let's add some windows. So let's see. I like these, but I like that one better. Okay, so now I have a window. And I have a window on that side, I can add it to another, Control C and Control V. So I get another one on that side. There we go. And so now I have a room with two windows, four columns, a sofa. And you guys, this is happening real quickly. It's so easy to decorate these rooms. It's really cool. All right, let's see what else I wanna do. As you can see, other options here. I can add plants. Lighting, oh, which is a good point. Let's make sure your room is always well lit. And I'll tell you why, when you render it, you're gonna need good lighting. So speaking of rendering, that's gonna be your last step when you're really ready to see what it looks like, sort of like the real version of it. And HomeStyle lets you render. It's gonna take probably five minutes or so. Go get some coffee and you're off to the races. Now. Let me mention this app, Magic Plan. Magic Plan allows you to get a floor plan of the home that you're showing your buyer. So it's for Android and iPhone, and just go to the App Store, Play Store, and download Magic Plan. Take pictures of all corners of the room, and it will give you a floor plan, and it's free. 
So take a look. And as always, before you download any app, play, please check reviews. Make sure you're happy with what other users are saying. All right, on to the next one. Now visual staging. We actually have an app, uh, excuse me, we have a, a tutorial on visual staging on the reti.us. So I'm not gonna go through one here, but you can take a vacant property and just stage it. You know, you could remove furniture uh, and after you've staged it, you can share it on a website that they call a flare, which is a single property website for the house. And I love it. It's a DIY, you know, lets potential home buyers view the photos of the house with or without furniture. And it lets them rearrange and change the furniture to their liking. And, you know, just imagine the property as their own. So that's a, that's definitely uh, in my top six. And I think it's been around for a while. So I want you guys to check out Visual Stager. And there is a web uh, and there's an app version. So, you know, the, I love the website because it gives you a good uh, description of how it works. Uh, great tutorials, interactive vi uh, videos, demos. So you can definitely uh, probably put this one at the very top of your list because I'm not doing these in any order, but I would say Visual Stager is probably one that would definitely be one to, um, to take a look at. Now, the only thing about this app is that you're dealing with credits. So you're buying credits and the credits are going to give you the ability to do a lot of different things. So let's say you want to remove furniture. Well, that's going to be so many credits. How many? Well, it depends on how many pieces of furniture you want removed. You will need to look at their website because as an example, one to two items removed is eight credits. So I just, I don't know what the overall price would be with this one, but you want to compare based on what you want to do. Sometimes the credit systems can kind of have you pay in more. So just check that out and I think you'll be good to go. Now the next and last one is the virtual staging lab. It competes with a lot of the ones we're already talking about. Again, look at the catalog and look and see what you're paying for. This one has special offers that are available. And again, you're snapping a picture of a room. You're using the assets in the company's database to stage the property. So it's a question of how many assets and how will it look when you render it? That's the big deal. Make sure you're checking for quality. Uh, and that's really why I wish they would allow you to do a test drive first. But there are a lot of uh, people, uh, a lot of these companies that will give you additional assistance when it comes to creating these stage properties. Okay. All right. That's all I have for you right now. We are going to watch a ready commercial and we'll be back for a Q&A. Now I want to thank everybody for staying for the entire webinar. And let's talk about those perks I promised earlier. The first perk is the reti.us website. And if you haven't had a chance to check it out yet, it's an amazing resource. Uh, our team has built over, gosh, I think 600 instructional videos, articles, product reviews, webinars, and more to help you learn anything you want about real estate technology, marketing, social media, and you learn at your own pace anytime. It's, it's a really, really well put together site. In fact, in fact, we just completed a redesign and reorganization, which I really like. And it's really, it makes the entire site just so much easier to use and it allows users to just find content so much quicker uh, and just some great stuff to learn on every visit. So you can click on the free test drive button on the site to check out over 25 videos to get a feel for the site and our amazing team of instructors. And if you like what you see, you can sign up for an account and become a member of the RETI network. That's right, you get full access to the full RETI library with over 600 instructional videos and articles. In fact, I think it's time for another perk. Our usual price is $19.95 a month, but as a bonus for attending the webinar, you can use the promo code RETI 
W-E-B. And you can get your first month for only $1.99. Or you can opt to sign up for it an entire year for $99.95. You can't beat that. But now, this offer is only good for those watching this webinar. So if you haven't done so yet, please check out the site and sign up today. Go to www.reti.us forward slash sign up. And if you sign up now, please let us know in the chat room. We'd love to acknowledge you and welcome you to our network. Okay, that concludes the main portion of this webinar. We're going to go ahead and open this up for questions. I'm going to turn this over to the ready instructor who is on board to answer any questions you have. 